Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Investigation Division of Internet Revenue Service, I'm going to help you. Yes, hi. I got a, a message about uh, a lawsuit. I'm told to call this number. Okay, at what time are you call? I received it at 11... At what time are you call? I received it at 11.30. Now I'm up. We keep hanging up. Keep hanging up. Hey, Ben Chod. Hey, Ben Chod. Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, I got a message, something about a lawsuit. It's one of service investigation department. Yes, I got a message uh, stating there's a lawsuit against my name. Uh, can you confirm me the number in which you received that phone call? Yes, I received the area code 617-926-0412. Okay, uh, now you should confirm your name and your zip code in order to pull out your documentation, okay? Yes, uh, my, my name is Bill, B-I-L-L. -L. And my last name is Malater, M E. L A T E R. And your zip code? Zero two one five four. I'm sorry, okay, sir. So your first name is B I L L. Your first Bill. name is B I L O. Bill. B I L L. Bill. It's, okay. It's short for William. And your last name is? Melater. M-E-L-A-T-E-R. Bill Melater. Okay, I got it. Thanks. Okay, and your zip code is 01254, correct? No, 02154. Okay, it's a zero two one five four, correct? correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, Mr. Below, uh, just hold the line. Let me pull out your documentation first. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you for holding the line, Mr. Malta. Are you there? Ms. Malater? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. I have to keep you on speakerphone because I'm a farmer and I'm taking care of my animals. What is this in regarding to? Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Malata, uh, I'm calling you from Internal Revenue Service Investigation Department, okay? 
Yeah. And this call is to let yes, this call. Well, the reason of my call is to inform you that we found some serious allegations on your tax filing. So what happened is that we have done a random audit on your tax filing from the year of 2010 till 2015. And between those years, we have come up with some miscalculations, okay? Well, miscalculation in the sense that you have paid your taxes on time, but not with an appropriate amount. So, the amount which is not paid correctly for those years, for which there is a lawsuit filed against you by the IRS. Yeah. And that's the reason there is a full serious allegations on your name. And the allegations are... Yeah. Violation of federal tax, yes. And the uh, allegations are... Violation of federal tax regulations. Yeah. The code kept by deception and willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. So right now your case is in third delinquency bucket, which means your case on verse of execution. So today within the next couple of hours your case will be downloaded into the courthouse and the federal sheriff department will generate a warrant ID on your name and send the police officers to arrest you for defrauding the IRS. So once you're getting arrested after that within the next 24 working hours, you will be taken into the courthouse where you need to pay the unpaid amount of $2,786 along with the extra penalty charge. How much? 2700 and Yes. Well, in order to cancel your arrest warrant, you need to pay the penalty charge of $2,786. And in case if you fail to pay those amounts in the courthouse, then you will be have to be in prison for the next two years till three years of time, okay? All right, hold on. So, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on I, a minute. I, I gotta get to another area here. I'm a, I'm a farmer and my goats, are, uh, they think I'm gonna feed them. Hold on a minute. Oh, oh, okay, that's better. I'm, I'm away from you now. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Well, this means like IRS will mark a lien on your assets, including your house, and all your bank accounts will be frozen and confiscated. So, we will be filing a notice of federal tax lien in front the public and the creditors regarding the government's legal claim to your property. And we will also file a lien on your official assets and all your wages and benefits will be frozen informing your employer and to the government bodies that are affiliated with. And if you have an existing payment plans with the IRS, then it will be terminated under the section 30 AFIR code and your case will be downloaded into the courthouse. Oh no, I don't, so, want, that to, I don't want that to happen. I, 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 okay, I, so as you know, as you know, right now this call is being recorded and monitored by the IRS authority of your state. The panel of three attorneys are is to present this recording in the front of the judge and the jury members. So that in this recorded line, I would I need to take your fair I would I I need to take your statements that what are your fair intentions. Do you want to resolve this case outside the courthouse? without going legally or do you want to fight this case legally in the courthouse with extra penalty charge and two years imprisonment well i don't want to go to jail i want to I, you know if i made a mistake it's by accident not on purpose because uh your arrest warrant is always your arrest warrant is already activated and I'm holding your arrest warrant, okay? And I can see that you are a genuine case here. That's the reason why I gave you this final notice call. Just to know that whether you want to resolve this case or you just want to take a chance in the courthouse. Well, I don't want to go to court. So can you give me your... Okay, so uh, can you give me your statement that what are your fair intentions in this recorded line? Well, I would pay back anything that I might owe, you know? I don't... Know. You know, I need the government, I need to pay them, and if I made a mistake, I want to pay them back. Okay, because uh, IRS will be filing a notice of federal tax lien informing the public and the creditors regarding 
legal claim to your property and we will also file a lien on your official assets and all your wages and benefits will be broke informing your employer and to the government bodies that are affiliated with well, and I, if I, you have any and in case if you belong to the other country than the United States then under I'm just a poor farmer that's all I am I pay my taxes I raise my goats and, and that's it <laughs> They hung up. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I tried. Uh, let me try him back. That was going so good. Extension is unavailable. Please leave your message Ugh. after the tone. When the uh, oh. hang up or press the pound key. I wanted to keep going with that one. That was going so good. Try it again, just for shits and giggles. Hello? just happened all right guys i'll upload that that's kind of funny all right then